Today we're going to be showcasing the Mutant Creatures mod, which was originally created almost 10 years ago, but has stayed updated through various creators throughout the years. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar, this mod adds an exciting array of new items and creatures to the game, and we're going to cover each mutant as well as the item you can attain from each. Starting with the imposing mutant zombie, this colossal creature is like a hulking version of the vanilla zombie with the ability to jump and smash just like the Hulk. When you defeat it, be sure to burn its body to keep it from respawning, which can be done with flint and steel or even fire aspect. You can then get your hands on the powerful Hulk hammer with a special right click ability allowing you to smash the ground. Next up, the Mutant Skeleton is a fearsome archer with a whole arsenal of attacks, from his ranged attack to a multi-shot and even a deadly melee attack if you get too close. This creature is not to be taken lightly. Defeating the Skeleton causes his bones to explode everywhere, allowing you to collect and use them to craft some Mutant Skeleton armor. This armor has special abilities like speed 2 on your leggings or jump boost on your boots, even allowing you to shoot a bow 4 times faster, meaning this is a great set of armor to acquire. Prepare yourself for the terrifying mutant creeper with its ability to leap high and even spawn minions as well as control lightning. It's not something you want to take unprepared. When you finally manage to defeat one of these monsters, it's going to pull you in and explode for one final time and then it's going to drop a creeper minion egg. There's two things you can use this egg for. The first one is you can carry it around on your head and about four Minecraft days later, it's gonna hatch into a creeper minion. Or you can also destroy the egg and have a small chance for it to drop a creeper shard that allows you to craft a creeper minion tracker so you can keep track of all of them. This little pet is a faithful companion that will fight mobs alongside you dealing explosive damage. Now let's talk about the mutant enderman. This one is undoubtedly the strongest mutant of them all with a range of abilities including the ability to teleport you defeating the mutant enderman is going to be a tough challenge but allows you to claim its hand and harness the power of the void with this item you gain the ability to teleport and it even allows you to pick up blocks and throw them as well now before we move on to the last two mobs let's talk about the new potion added chemical x you will need to use any of the mutant drops we talked about in a brewing stand to create some of the new chemical x this potion is used to create mutant creatures by tossing some on the corresponding vanilla mob. Now that we know what Chemical X is, let's see the last two mutants that can only be spawned using Chemical X. So for those of you who prefer a friendly mutant, we have the mutant snow golem. This massive snow golem is not your typical frosty friend and can be spawned using the chemical X on a vanilla snow golem. It doesn't throw tiny snowballs, but instead throws entire snow and ice blocks at its enemies, making it an excellent defensive companion. You can also heal one heart for every snowball you throw at them. And for the last mutant, we have the mutant spider pig. To create this delightful creature, you'll need to feed a pig a fermented spider eye and then splash it with some of that chemical X. The result? Well, this thing. Attacking pigs and spiders, turning them into mutants as well, you can tame one of these beasts by getting it down to four hearts or below, having it eat one of your creeper minions, and then after that, you can now ride your monstrosity. But make sure to heal it back up with pork chops or spider eyes so you do not have to repeat that process over. So there you have it. The Mutant Creatures mod is a classic Minecraft mod that has stood the test of time and continues to stay a fan favorite with its fantastic items and diverse range of creatures. This mod is a must try for any Minecraft world. So as always, I will leave a link to the mod down below if you did enjoy this video consider subscribing and hitting that like and with that i will see you all next time